Sockeye salmon have been returning to the British Columbia Fraser River for thousands of years. In August 2010, the sockeye returned in a big way. The run estimated at 30 million fish. The biggest run in over 50 years. Fisheries in Oceans Canada gave the gillnet fleet an opening for two days. Here are some of the participants. Enjoy. There are some of you watching this that probably reflect back to the day when the sockeye fishery was massive and very viable. How things change, you might be thinking. Yet, there's a spirit on the water still. And it's here, on the south arm of the Fraser River in British Columbia. All things considered, the 2010 sockeye season was a good one. Yet, in the back of the minds of the fishermen are things like aquaculture, 
a practice that continues on the west coast of Canada. Perhaps the most endangered species of all is the commercial fishermen. I'm sure they realize, with great trepidation, their future is very uncertain. Yet the public want their fish. The question is, do the public know where fish come from and what it takes to catch them? For the average consumer that does not make it to the dock to purchase their salmon, they will buy it from a store. And some companies, like this one, happen to own a chain of supermarkets as well. Very convenient. Now, some technical information on the mighty Fraser River, as it's called. It's a tidal river. And the south arm is very busy with commercial traffic. With that in mind, the Gillanders have to be very careful where they make their sets to avoid any conflict with commercial traffic transiting these waters. Despite it all, the Gillanders have a good day. Maybe life next year will be better, perhaps worse. And this has been the 2010 Sockeye Fishery on the south arm of the mighty Fraser River in British Columbia, Canada. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Thank you.